Oh. To the Infernape Diddy, probably. I know Infernape was playing Greninja a little bit earlier. Yeah. And I was like, hello? <laughs> I didn't know he played Greninja. Yeah. Okay, so... MGW out. I think at ninth, right? Yes. Right? I'm really bad at reading brackets. Yeah, I've been whoop, doing this for two whoop. years, but I'm really bad at reading brackets sometimes. I I never I've learned learned I'm doing a lot of housekeeping right now. I've never learned how to read. Bears. Are you Jerry19? Anyway, Garflow will be playing again because oh, okay. the other side <laughs> of the... <laughs> I thought you said I didn't know how to read. <laughs> Are you Jerry19? <laughs> I'm sick! I can read sometimes. Anyway, sometimes Carflow will be playing again because the other half of the bracket is me versus BB, and as you can see, John, here. John, I can't play a doing? match right now. John, what the hell? John, why can't you just clone yourself? Oh, well, John, what the Yeah, hell? why don't I just play with the monitor right in front of me yes. remotely? Yeah, I don't see why <laughs> not. I wonder how much <laughs> input delay there is from over here. A thousand and one. But... Regards that fact, we are seeing Carfo up on deck once more. Reach gave us a really hot set versus Helper. Going, you know, basically 2-1 over him. And now has to do it again, 2-0 over Peko, hopefully to get right throughout uh, winners. But Peko been kind of clutching it out a lot recently. I mean, we saw earlier. Yeah, oh yeah, no, uh, the, the two previous sets especially, uh, Peko definitely clutched it out. And Carfo is going to be the real test for him. Is Peko one of Zeno? Peko is one of Zeno, right? I want to say he has once, a couple of months ago. Not I, a, but like I think closer to like, almost a year ago. But time is fake to me, so I don't know. Yeah, but I yeah. feel like I've seen on Twitter like us. I, I remember feeling happy for Peko for something. Yeah, not, not a bombs, but like a Z. I, can't, I think with a Zeno, he won maybe once, or either that, or he's gotten like second or third, very yeah, I, yeah. a lot. Yeah, I know. I know he's gotten like third or something like that, right? But like. I cannot recall, but I mean, wow. even though we don't recall, we're seeing why he could be a contender for winning a Xeno, because Garfield definitely has won a Xeno before. And Peko's keeping it pretty much toe to toe with him with this uh, Diddy Kong and a little bit of a wall playing right there. I always forget that Diddy has one. Yeah, but it, it's it's so it's so annoying too, because like the Diddy Kong will do it in situations where you're just like, bro, this is this is really what really want where you want to use your wall plan, and yeah. you get smoke for it. A little bit of just neutral right now, trying to find a way to get inside. Taking the trade, at, for example, but Peko still winning out in the percentage of difference. And in the us match, down to us match, yeah. always gonna work. Uh, imagine that screaming auto tune, just saying. <laughs> um, Can someone yeah. please? I wish <laughs> everyone screamed please? like that. Wow. Wow, what a confirm. But yeah, I have to say, Peko's platform conversions have been really good. All. Okay. With the way. The patience right here, but Peko, why is he just going a little and bit lower? Carfo's still, and Carfo still got the trump? That's insane. Carfo's different like that. He wants it. Blood in the water. Ooh, the little bit of space he needed to avoid yo, the center yo, are we, so huge. What's are we playing happening? defense right now? Hey. Let's go, Peko. Down to, no, down to into the throw, into the a whip back here. Unfortunately, Carfo gained that situation out of his hands by getting the forward air. And then another free effort. I believe that was back air. Really, really fast move right there. Back yeah. air taking that at what? About 140? Yep, give or take. Wow, yeah. Yeah, and right now, Peko is looking to close this out. Oh, maybe we'll have to pull the trigger a little bit too fast. Um, I was actually expecting the Z drop, but probably went for the banana toss forward air. I don't know. Should be fine. Trying to get two frame right there off the recovery, but the nair on re on aerial will definitely be working for his favorite. Trying to get those turn right there as well. And that might be not a bad a bad situation for Carfo to go towards. Oh, but pressuring oh. with the forward is definitely taking oh, yeah, advantage. Oh yeah, this is this is a bad situation for Peko right now. Oh oh. This is this is bad with the down tilts. Oh. Oh, what? What? Okay. Carfo's chilling. Paco's like, yeah, alright, you got it. Yo, let's go, Roy. Like... Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, if you're Peko, you have to kick yourself for that. That, that... Like... And, and that's, and that's the thing, and that's, and that's the thing you're a Diddy Kong in that situation. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, overextending like that at the ledge? Right and not cash like not getting your punish that you want, especially against Roy, and you let him back on. Yeah, that's what happens because like Roy, Roy is gonna get the punishes. 
the speed and, up is crazy. <laughs> and that side beam, oh. It's just rough, you know. You we had this great lead for a good portion of the match, consistently a stock ahead or or at least percentage wise, and he kind of just the, the turning point was when Carfo was able to get that banana out of his hands for a little bit, right, that little moment right there. Mm -hmm. I think Poke kind of fell apart trying to get it back and just trying to push an advantage that he didn't have. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And the thing is, Carfo didn't use the banana; just had it in his possession for mm -hmm. a bit, and just maybe one usage. That wasted one banana pull is all, you know, Carful he really needed, right? I love Carful's use of the up tilt right there in order to just get Peko, Peko off them. And we said it earlier in, in other Peko games where he is definitely using those aerials to jump in, and that's his approach most of the time. And with how big that up tilt is that Roy has, just stuff him out as, as easily as you can. Okay. Yeah, again, gain the recovery option of Alu with the Nair. And missing the up smash on that platform gives Carfo an easy punish opportunity with the up air into the forward air as well. I mean, Roy is so fast, like immediately. And Peko's trying to reset to center stage. That was super great timing. Oh my god. And trying to get another, another instant left jump right there, but wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just hard right now for Peko. Order not taking it. Excellent tech using the Nair as well it's just to get Carpo back into off, Good off trade. stage into a very favorable trade indeed. Oh. And that up air. Look at Pekka in the corner. No. no. Hey, you got the taunt. And we got the taunt. Oh, no, no, bro. Oh, no. It would have been a really good lead for Pekko to keep that rage building and continue nah. the momentum, but Carfo was like, no, nah, not today. I'm good, actually. Nah, Pekko, you need to fight back, bro. Don't let him talk. You need to fight back. 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 Fight back. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Use Bungie Flip. Use Dash Attack. Oh, the banana's yep. clipping the toesy woesies. Ooh. 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 Fight back. Thank you. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Oh, I respect going. it. Yeah. I saw the attempt, it, it favored him before, but it was a little bit, a little bit too late. Nice! Fight okay. back! Yeah, yeah, okay. Back off stage, you are. Should be able to get a nice little yeah. toss into the force dash again. Love these options, but gotta jump out the disadvantage right there. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that coming. No. I, I I feel like Carful saying Diddy Kong wins that matchup. I'm speechless. Diddy, look. I'm, oh, okay. I, I, he was fighting back. Okay. Can I say like um great uh, great great positioning by Carful by the way. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Just that banana toss was like definitely calculated. Like out of all the things that happened, you know, Roy considered that was 100 percent calculated. Um, but I do have to say, you know, people always say that Diddy Kong beats Roy. And I'm not gonna lie, every time I watch this matchup, I feel like it just looks even. Like, I, I understand when, you know, people say that Diddy Kong beats sorties, but I feel like the type of sortie Roy is, he's so fast and he's in your face, and he could use Banana so well, unlike a lot of the other sorties that, like, kind of have to rely on more of, like, even Cloud in that in that aspect, like, mm -hmm. defensive swings sometimes, right? I feel like Roy can kind of just, like, get in Diddy Kong's area, unlike other sorties can. Also, because Roy's sword is slightly shorter than the other swordy sword. It's like Cloud Sword and Chrome Sword, yeah. for example. So it's yeah. just like he comes in and he's wanting to be the aggressor. He wants to be in your face. He's going to take away whatever space you think you have if it's a good Roy player, which Carflow is. Yeah. You know? They, yeah. They're not going to play defensively. They're going to want to rush down and take that advantage stay as much as they can for as long as they can, right? regardless of the stage you're on, you know? So. Yeah, yeah, that's. A, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I never understood that. But. Um, yeah, good stuff by Carflow. Mm -hmm. um, I'll play. And, and I think, uh, 